Welcome back guys. Today we're at Portman Road to see Ipswich Town take on Lincoln City in the FA Cup. It's the first time the town have entered the Cup at the first round since 1957. 41 years ago Ipswich Town won the FA Cup. What can they do this year? Come on. Right, welcome back to Portman Road. Today it's just time to take on Lincoln City in the FA Cup. I just want to have a quick thank you to our sponsors, WIFWAF, today. And make sure you use Ipswich Butters on the way down to Portman Road. Today it's the FA Cup. We haven't won since 2009. But let's come over to people who have seen an FA Cup winner. I'm here with Ralph and Peter. Boys, I come in the middle. Yeah, 41 years since we won the FA Cup. How are you feeling about today's, uh, today's game, Peter Fursey? Well, I'm hoping that uh, we actually break the hoodoo of recent years and actually see a cup win. It's about time we did. Uh, the Ipswich fans, traditionally, they love the FA Cup. And it's been... Just hold on one sec, Peter. We've got two young boys here. You all right, lads? How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, good. Today, What's yes. your little brother's name? George. You can tell your brothers you look exactly the same. Yep. What do you, are you expecting a win today? Yep, probably. Yeah, what's the score going to be? 3-2. 3-2, it's yeah. Cool, I love that. Love that. Where are you sitting today, do you know? Co-op stands. Yeah. Co-op, yeah. Is that co here with Dad? Has he got his Everton um, Everton coat on today or is he taking it off today? Taking it off today. Yeah, he has. Oh, yeah, I can see him over there. <laughs> all right, then, lads, you get back to Dad, all right? And I'll catch you later. Lovely, isn't it? Look, they're loving it. 3-2 win, they expect. Look, they're probably the only only youngsters that will see an Ipswich win the FA Cup in the last 10 years. But, yeah, anyway, Peter, before I interrupt it. Yeah, I mean, going to Wembley was absolutely highlight of uh, f footballing. It was our first major honour that I saw. I didn't yeah. obviously see the 60-61. Uh, mm. Not quite old enough for that. Yeah. But the greatest match for me in my memory was the semi final of the no! FA Cup when we won uh, at Highbury. Yeah. And when Walk's goal went in, we just knew we were there. Yeah. We was up the old clock end and you couldn't actually move, and it was, well, celebrations all the way. Yeah. Uh, stuff that lists with you long, yeah? Yeah, I mean, the, we'd had so many heartaches, which I went to earlier in the FA Cup. All the runs against uh, Leeds when we went and the 75 defeat. Uh, There's just so many sort of heartaches beforehand. But everybody, you, it was the competition and it still is. It's still amongst the fans. Uh, it's the first time I've witnessed being in the first round. And the draw, it would be nice to go on to somewhere where a non-league or a smaller club that uh, yeah but it's whoever you get drawn to and there's a chance in the second round we'll get another small club yeah that would be nice um yeah but lincoln aren't a small club in any way shape or form but let's look at today ralph the last like the last two times we spoke mate we've scored nine goals you're an absolute goal machine when you come on this channel, mate. So today we're expecting some, some heavy score lines. You know, when we're watching this back tonight and we've won 5-0, I'll have you to thank. Well, what can I say? <laughs> Obviously I track goals. I just hope it, yeah. hope it carries on. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what are you expected today? Obviously, you know, league form out of the, out of the way. You bring in a few extra players. It's going to be a different team. Um, it's going to be a completely different game. Something not to worry about, but something to enjoy. Definitely, I think the pressure's off, isn't it? The, yeah. league, the league's a hard, hard part of the season. Things like cup competitions are just for fun, really. I mean, it's great. If we can go along and do something really good, that'd be great. But the players should be able to express themselves. Yeah. It's the same as they did in the, um, the cup against Gillingham when he brought all the youngsters in there, that little cup yeah. that we're in now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, the players look really good, so yeah. I'm, I'm hoping today with some of the players that we've got, the quality that we've got coming back into the team, it'll be a chance for them to yeah. give it a go. They've got to, and they, there's no pressure on them, is there, in this, where there is in the league, so let's see how it goes. Last time last time we played Lincoln, um, we obviously lost on, on national television. Peter, can you name three players that were in that squad that night, that are still in the squad today? Well... 
Chambers would have been there. Yeah. Um, Tom's mentioning Scoose, so yeah, I imagine he was, he, he was he there. Who was, was the last one? Who's made very little impact in those in those last three years? Right, Ralph, it is Andre Dazelle. Three players that are available for selection today, apart from Freddie Sears, who would have been in that squad um, on the night that we lost 1-0 to Lincoln. It is, it's changed a lot, but Lincoln haven't got a single face, including the management staff, that exists within that squad that beat us that night. So, surely the hoodoo's out the window, do you think? Um, have Lincoln become a hoodoo team now, then? Well, you know, it was embarrassing. We lost in one. Cup game to um, Andrew and on national telly yeah. in our darkest hour, but yeah. this is totally different. We're it was the start of uh, the fans uh, the against the backlash yeah. with Mick McCarthy that that sort of started it, uh, and it was as if he couldn't care less that we'd lost. Well, that's a good point. And Terry Butcher came out. Obviously, Terry Butcher is who's, who's obviously head, head of the supporters club now. He came out and said, you know, quite frankly, on national television that night, that was an embarrassment. And that, you know, all those fans that travelled up. And then, and Tom, I know Tom travelled up. You probably travelled up, Peter. Did you go that night? I didn't go there. I didn't go up there, no. No, but um, in terms of the people that travel up, the money that's spent to get up to places like Lincoln, for example, you know, we're expecting more. And it just seemed to be that we'd just go out, get that board draw in the FA Cup, get a replay every year under McCarthy, and then bow out embarrassingly in the next game. He just didn't want the cup matches. He, he was happy keeping us mid-table in the championship, which was great for a time. But one of the Sky reporters recently yeah. said that something's happening down at Ipswich now, yeah. which yet we haven't seen for ages. Languishing, avoiding relegation in the championship is no way for the fans, no. uh, you know, to enjoy football. And uh, the, the fact that we've gone down the league and we're now everyone's happy, we're winning games, we're, what, we're actually fighting for something now as well. And a cup match is a nice little break from the league, but it's just good fun now. Yeah. McCarthy did suck that out of it. I, I, don't, I don't discredit it, I enjoyed it when he came in and he did a good job for a period of time which stabilised the ship because we were on our way down yeah. when he came in. But he took us as far as he could on what he was being given uh, you know I'm not saying it's all his fault but he wouldn't change I watched several games where we were in the ascendancy and winning and he just went totally defensive and we ended up drawing or losing and that frustrated the hell out of me yeah you and me both mate actually I even cancelled my se I cancelled my season ticket on the back of McCarthy administration it was that poor Peter obviously you stayed all that time um let's look at today results wise what you were expecting well, I'd like to know what the team is first, but you, I'm always expecting whatever team we put out, we should do enough to get through to the next round. Yeah. Um, but you've got to turn up and play. Yeah. And uh, there should be a chance for the likes of Hughes, um, Giorgio, if they're playing, people yeah. like this, to try and make a statement yeah. to say, I want to be in that starting eleven. Yeah. Dobra's obviously banned still, isn't he? He's still got a free match ban? He was available on the radio. Oh, really? Well, if he is available, <laughs> there's going to be some goals today. That's all I'm going to say. Fantastic player, do you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's what a touch. Yeah. Watching him, he can pull the ball out of the sky like Aaron Cresswell used yeah. to do. Yeah. Amazed uh, for a young lad, hell of a talent, and uh, with a couple of years on him, who knows? Who knows where he could go? We've conceded nearly 29 goals in the FA Cup since we last won. Could you name one one goal scorer? from the last time we won the FA Cup. The last time we won the FA Cup was 2-1 against Blackpool in 2009. You know me one score from that day, Peter. Uh, no. I'll give you a clue. He was an Irish, Irish youth player, came through our academy, played in central midfield, won number seven, name started with G. Yeah, very good. Yeah. See, you got it. Owen Garvin, yeah. Owen Garvin was one last score. Boys, final final question. Final score today. 3-0. Uh, 3-0. He loves the goals. 2-0. Uh, 2-0. Yeah. Right, let's... <laughs> to town, obviously. Right, let's go and have a look at the squads then. Right, Tom, so today we've got Lincoln in the Cup. The last time we played Lincoln, mate, I know you went to the both the Cup games, but last time we played them, they were two divisions below us. They've got two promotions, well, three, three divisions. Yeah, they've got two promotions and we've had a relegation. I mean, what's going on at the moment? 
I don't know, mate. The football gods are all over the place, aren't they? <laughs> um, I don't know how the gimps... Oh, sorry, imps. Um, I made this far up the league. Um, well, obviously, Cowley and that are gone now, so they're going to drop like a rock now, back to non-league where they belong. Yeah, they've lost, they've lost their journey, man. And the wheels are falling off the bus, aren't they? So, it, you know, it remains to be seen how they play today. I mean, they'll put out a strong side, but, you know, do, do we bo do, are we bothered by this? Not at all, mate. They've got three cup finals now instead of two. Their fans must be buzzing, mate. Imagine them coming to Portman Road twice in a season. Must be loving it. Yeah, it's Wembley stuff. Stuff of dreams for them. Yeah, exactly. Um, mate, we've obviously had a number of players um, both play for us and Lincoln in the time since they've been promoted up the divisions. Danny Rowe and Jordan Roberts are two of them. Uh, Wilson's also another one of them. I'll just pull out some of your notes because I always forget. Danny Rowe came out and said, I wasn't in a great place the way things were. Um, so he said that Paul Lambert sent him out to Lincoln. He said um, he sent me out to Lincoln last season very much with the thought of getting me playing and fit. Everything he said has he's stuck by it. So he's saying Lambert's such a good manager that he's actually given him a chance. And I think Danny Rose played upwards of nine, ten games this season. It's made an impact and obviously scored on Tuesday night. Um, what a player he's been for us so far. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's been great. I no. think he's been average like most of the boys have been this year I don't think anyone's really stood out really other than Downs and Wolf and them for me really this season everyone else has been average we all know they've got a couple of gears to go up so I feel sorry for everyone in this league they obviously have to deal with them when they are at top form um, it helps that obviously Rowe did go out and get game time because it was very limited here at Ipswich wasn't it un yeah. under um, McCarthy um, but <laughs> but um, obviously Lambert stuck by his word gave him a chance and yeah. to be fair he came from non-leagues a championship didn't he so he's kind of met in the middle with League One, League Two. He went from League Two last year up to League One this year. So he's just making his path up the football pyramid now, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Uh, should we have a look at the squad then while we do? FA Cup squads are so so much different from uh, from normal first team games, you know, in the league. But let's see. I'm, I'm imagining there's probably 11 changes. I haven't seen it. But um, Tom, let's go with the squad, mate. What, who have we got? All right. So you've got Norris and goal. You've got a back four of Kenlock, Wilson, Toto and Danashian. Um Two holding midfielders, Hughes and Downs, and three in front of that is Georgiou, Dazel, Dobright, and then up top you've got Keane. On the bench you've got Holy, Edwards, Norwood, Rowe, Judge, El Mazzuni, and Wolfenden. So quite attacking then, I would say, with that, that formation. And we've got two holding midfielders. But the one for me that jumps out is obviously James Wilson, a player who didn't get enough of a chance at Lincoln last season. Um, he chose to tear up his contract and walk away. He's obviously come to, to better climbs here at Ipswich Town. Um, can you, ex you know, just briefly explain what James Wilson's done since he's been at Ipswich Town? He's been brilliant, mate. Absolutely solid. One of the best centre-halves. To be fair, if I was living in Lincoln, I'd tear up my contract as soon as I had a chance <laughs> to get out of there anyway. So, don't blame him at all. But, yeah, he's been brilliant. Solid. Um, can't ask anything more of him. He just gets rid of the ball when you have to. Um, yeah. Just perfect. perfect. Mate, let's have a look at the uh, the actual score line today, then. Uh, it would be realistic, but what are you going for? I did say 2-0 before, but I just don't want to draw, mate. I don't want to go back there again. I don't want to play these four times in a season, mate. So I'm hoping we can just nick it today, get through to the second round. I love the FA Cup, mate. Love it. I just love us get to at least the third round, get a big draw and get excited. I just can't stand people, mate, who just come out here and like, oh, well, it's the Cup. We, we're going for the league. What about the other 10 years in the championship? We're in it, in it, in it to win it. In it to in win it. it, to win it. Who's, your, um, who's your one to watch this week, mate? Dobra. Away. First start since obviously um, you know being red carded in in the league. His first obviously league appearance ended quite quite swiftly after 36 minutes. But um, he's played well in the uh, Leeson dot com Champions League trophy. What's he going to do today? Hopefully he carries on the performances he obviously started with in the EFL Champions League. But you've got to say this: Lincoln are a, are an equal opponent to anyone in League One. So if he can play in games like this, he can play in the league, can't he? Yeah, exactly. I can imagine they're going to come here strong, aren't they? Yeah. Um, they're not going to come here waste any time. They they want to try and um, recreate the FA Cup run of a couple of years ago, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a great test for him. It'll show what level he's at. It'll show if he's ready. Um, because in the two EFL Champions League games, I can't keep saying that. <laughs> um, in the EFL Cup games. Um, He's played up against Tottenham on the 21, so players at the same age and kind of, let's say, let's say level as him. And also Gillingham against their resis, really. So, <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Um, yeah, against their resis. So, he hasn't really had a real test. No. Accrington was the first chance he had. Fortunately, it didn't go the way he obviously dreamt his debut of first team would be in the league game. But he's got another chance today and hopefully he can show what he's made of. So, final score 2-0. 
2 0, I'm going to say, mate. Toto at the double. Cheers, mate. Right, yes, I'm here with young Alex. How are you doing today, mate? Um, good, thanks. Yeah. You've been to many games this season? Um, I went to Tranmere and Doncaster at home and also some away games. So yeah, so you've been unbeaten so far since you've been, or have you seen any losses? Um, I've seen us get a late game goal against Peterborough, but yeah, yeah. we're unbeaten so far. Yeah, really good. That was a good day at, at Peterborough. Um, what do you expect from town today? Do you think we can get a win? Um, yeah, I think we should treat it as a normal game, even though it's the FA Cup, yeah. and try and yeah, play well, um, don't make any mistakes, and try and advance to the next round. Yeah. Um, who, who's your one to watch then today? What player do you reckon? Um, I think Norwood, but he's not playing. Yeah. So who is playing, do you know? I think Will Keane, but I'm not yeah. sure. Do um, Keane can grab a goal today? Yep. Um, he was on, I think he was on loan last season, but I'm not yeah. sure. Um, and he played quite well last season, so... Um, he hasn't started the season that much, so it'd be good if he could impress the fans and score today. Yeah, what about um, Dobber and Giorgio? Both of them starting on the left and right. Both of them look really good. Have you seen them this season? Dobber, I know, played in some of the games against Tottenham under 21s, yeah. and Giorgio's got quite a lot of pace, so they could potentially score. Yeah. So you reckon they'll, they'll be good today for us? Um, yeah, they should. They should be um, a good threat up front for Ipswich today. Lovely job. What do you reckon, mate? Final score? Um, it's going to be tough, but I think we could win 2-1. 2-1. And get that, get through to the next round, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Lovely job, mate. Cheers.
ook niks doen zelf. Nooit tijd, ik heb ik net zelf net als een Right there, Jack, half time, mate. We're losing 1 0 to Lincoln City. How bad a performance could you get from the first half? It's not good, is it? I mean, I can see why we're not going for the cup, but I ge generally I think going on a cup run that'll do the team some good. Got like confidence will be there. I mean, gets the third round, we get a big day out maybe. Are we taking our eyes off the league though? Um, you know, that's got to be our, you know, our objective this season. We can't, we can't take our eyes off that, surely. Uh, we, I mean, we can't. But I mean, it's just, it's just mentality though. I mean, getting used to that winning feeling. Um, like if we, if we do get, if we get to the second round, great. But I mean, the league is a priority, obviously. But getting the winning mentality during the ground, during, during the training ground. It'll be good, and it's good for a lot of the inexperienced players who barely play. So, let's have a look at Lincoln quickly. Um, they've been quite good. I've been surprised about the way they attack. Um, but let's not let's not you know lie about who we're actually playing against. We've got a team of of reserve squad you know reserve squad players at best out there today. You, you if they come reserves. if they come out against our first team, what are they going to do? Oh, God knows. Like, honestly, I'm sorry, Georgiou, Dazelle, um it was the other one I can't think of who the other one was now but they were awful uh, Dazel hasn't made one clear pass all game um, Georgiou just doesn't know how to run or kick a ball it's ridiculous I mean get get, get some new players on get Nord on get Rowe on do you reckon that poses some questions for January do you think we might need to bring in some players in January it's hard to say really because I mean half the players on our bench are usually first team players as well and then we've got the first team players being rested as well. So I think if we were to get anyone in January, it'd have to be a winger. So George is not good enough and he's going back to Tottenham anyway. Yeah. So I'll be surprised if he stays there. Anyway, mate, give me a final score. I'm going to go 2-1 town. Always a win. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> No! 
Yeah, boys. So um, game finished one-one after after that um, cross from Dazelle that went into the, the <laughs> flew, into the top, yeah. flew into the back of the net. Um, you know what? What did what did we get from that game today? Fucking replay we didn't want. Yeah. Um, but you know, people have been moaning that we don't go on a cup run. We didn't lose a game. You know, if you can't win a game, draw one. That is that's how you do it. But yeah, oh, I you know I'd rather we'd lost that game. I hate to say it, but. You know, I thought Toto was going to be my man of the match and save me having to go up to Lincoln on a Tuesday night, which I didn't really want to do, but it looks like we are going to have to. Uh, so, yeah. Fa thanks, Will Norris, for fuck's sake. He's back to spite we me. We Holy, we always have. Yeah, why don't we put Holy in today? Yeah. Come on. Um, Toto's obviously going out there to give away a penalty per game this season. What do you make of that, Tom? Well, you know, Norris trying to get a goal a game. Toto's getting a penalty a game. Well, been down, Jello a game. Dobra, Red a game. To be fair, he's got a bit of a temper on him, Dobber, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's just got to be careful, especially at a higher level, because referees will send you off for anything. Yeah. And what do we make of Lincoln today? Do you want to say that again, Brian? Fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> so how, does that, how, how did we play against them? I thought, you know, first half we let them get a little bit of a foothold in the game. You know, I think the goal was inevitable. Tyler Walker was always on the heels of our defenders. He got caught offside a few times, but, um, you know, I think the goal was... Uh, it was only a matter of time before they were going to score and like many games this season second half you know we actually got a foothold in the game really good possession some patient build up um, goal lucky or not we got it in the end but yeah draw was probably a fair result it's just not what we wanted really to be no, honest no. disappointing really because now we've got to go up to Lincoln for absolutely no reason other than the league and um, that's not something I wanted to do but there we go um, on to the next one then boys Colchester in the cup next week Small, small club south of the border I hear, but don't know much about them, to be fair. But yeah, yeah, small clubs every week, isn't it? But that, that's testament to you know, where it's which town are in, in the pyramid, the football pyramid. So anyway, until next time, come on you blues. Come on.